right, so what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. Back with another video, as usual. Um, so I just realized, I wish I would've caught it before I left the dealership, but this door does not unlock and unlock. I can hear the mechanism. Give me the fuse, maybe. Now, I don't hear anything coming from this door. I can hear it from all the other doors, but this one, so is the door actuator. actuator. Um, I ordered one, I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to uh, look into it right now. I'm gonna get right here. So, when I hit the unlock, as y'all see, this is not moving at all. Hopefully y'all can see that it's not moving. Here, all the other doors with this one. I wish I would've called it before I, went, uh, before I left the dealer and I could've took down on the price a little bit more. But this door, actuator is most likely bad. I'm just gonna double check it, but I already ordered the part, I already know, I mean, I know for a fact that it's most likely that. I don't really hear. I am hearing, maybe I'm hearing a fuse, but I can hear, I can hear the other doors better. But I feel like the motor is probably just weak. And it's, I mean, it's just time to replace it, the actuator. I hear it, but I feel like I'm hearing it from the fuse under the door. But um, <clears throat> I'm open this up and get this replaced, or just check it out. All right, so I'm gonna make it, <clears throat> make it even more simpler. Look at this. This is how you know it's the actuator. Look, my key. You can hear that from right there. You can hear it. Two clicks and locks. You hear it, all right? That's how you know this thing is out. Look, you don't hear anything. Nothing. You hear nothing from that, so that's definitely, that's it. Not a fuse, you can hear a fuse. Not stupid, you can hear a fuse, right? So you have your little fuses right here. You can hear it. So you know it's not the fuse, the fuse is definitely clicking on, I can hear a fuse. So it makes it more simpler to, <clears throat> that's what I'm looking for, to single out the problem. Let's make it even more simpler or second step. Just in case, like I said, it's not the fuse, but I'm not sure why Toyota doesn't have this in the handbook. I like it on the handbook easier, but they put it on here, which is good too, though. It's not bad instead of having to go to the handbook, I guess. But um, I think it is right here, 20A, door rear, rear, door front left. Oh, you have a door front right too, okay. So you have just a door rear rear, a door front left, and a door front right. So let's check that 20 amp just in case. So the fuses go like this. The fuse box go like that. That's crazy, man. Just wanna double check the, now it'll be front right. So you got 220 amps front right, front, front left, front right, okay. Nope, fuse is good. Fuse is good. So I thought, like I said, I can hear it clicking. I hear it clicking all of them. Get, uh, probably can't see it because of the light, but it, it is a good fuse. I don't see anything wrong with it. Let's get it out the light a little bit. But yeah, this is one of the last steps. That's how I knew it was an actuator because you just can't hear it. But I mean, it could have been because of this, but nope. Unless I'm missing something. I don't see a bad fuse. I have extra fuses anyway, so. But yeah, it's not the fuse. It's not that. I already removed the piece right here. It just takes out the screw. And then I think there's a piece right here. Hopefully y'all can see, but it looks like a little piece. Y'all can see that. Let me try to get that piece out and then whatever else. Never took apart this door before, but it's another. Oh yeah, nothing else, yeah. No, let me go ahead and remove this actually, cause yeah, kind of a part of the door. Let me remove this and then I'll put it back.
So when I did this, this was not working. Now it is. It unlocks the door. It locks it and lo unlocks it. Y'all saw it in, <clears throat> in the beginning, though. Let's lock it. It unlocks. It was hard for me. 